I can see that we have many arguments to say that actually size does matter also in terms of how things grow and have to grow and I'm really, really thankful uh, to Annelik. <laughs> to, the, to the summit and to the board members uh, to uh, allow us to give the content really. And whenever there is a quest for uh, growing, sizing up and the question of architectural sizing up as well there's the question of what qualities do we gain and what qualities are we in danger to lose and i do think and that's not only me who thinks that in the museum well that uh, there is a, a huge uh, quest uh, put on us to see that we are not actually uh, activated by that processes and the effects those processes have on the institution, but that we have to find a place where we also actively work with those uh, necessities that we are facing. And I do think that uh, is at the core of the questions we also want to ask in this art summit. Uh, how do we find those qualities? How do we define those questions? And how do we uh, act out as a, as a, as a place that is active in formulating uh, the will to grow. I do think the state league could need more space, of course, but does that mean that we actually should get more space, even more space? Uh, I do think that the collection of the state league should grow daily, but what does that mean for our activities in terms of uh, showing the collection also and looking at the, the, the caretaking of the collection and looking at elements that actually have been erased a lot in the last 15, 20 years in the museum world, which is allowing for research, invisible activities the museums are made of. Uh, at the core of the museum is research and is the ability to also translate this research to our audiences. What do we do with uh, visitors' numbers? You know, when you think of the museum plan in Amsterdam, there's the Stedelijk Museum, there's the Van Gogh Museum, and there's the Rijks uh, Museum. And uh, we have totally different uh, numbers of, of tourists visiting our institutions. For example, the Stedelijk has 30 to 35 percent, the Van Gogh almost 100, you know? and the Rijks has a more healthy relationship, I think, to that's 75, as far as I know. The question is, if you have 100 percent tourists as your audience, what place are you in a place? What do you mean for a context? What, what do you mean for uh, a relationship uh, with your audience, which is not only about uh, you know, having the event happen, having the audience come in, and then come for the next event, but have a continuous exchange with an audience, and not only be a learning institution yourself, but also learn together with your audience and the artists and the art you are showing. Um, we're asking questions, what, is, what do, does those uh, growth mean towards upsizing or sizing up? And I do think that uh, these two days will, will give a lot of very, very interesting um, you know, insights in how do we ask those questions further. And uh, I wanted to ask Marit actually to also join in. Uh, first of all, I have to do the thank you thing because I again want to thank Annelik and also the board of the Yapi Art Summit. But I also wanted to add, thank Marit Schravemaker and Dorin de Bruyne and Bart von der Heide who cannot be with us because he's ill, as so many people at the moment having together uh, with me done this uh, invitations to the great people who all came and who are all here. Um, I do think that, um, uh, that this format, um, Annelik and, and I discussed so many times, is a, is a very particular format. Uh, this year it's the State Lake Museum. Next year we'll give over to another institution to actually bring the content, the question to you. And I do think that is very particular and very special. Uh, I do think also that the setup of um, spending two days here, the mountains are good for skiing in winter, as we know, but the Swiss mountains always have been, in many ways, an inspiration not only for artists, uh, but also for philosophers 
and for many cultural producers, I do think there is a very particular uh, atmosphere in, this, in those mountains, and I do think that they will very, very much influence our, our presence here. So big questions, big buildings, big uh, changes, as we hear, also politically. The question is, uh, how do we find a place where we look at qualities of growth that are interested, interesting for all of us and actually to introduce quality again instead of um, reacting to what growth and sizing up also means for institutions. And this is what the State League is very, very intensely working on in terms of working its collection and programs. And this is the questions we want to ask you. And I want to say one more thing. Uh, because we have a very, very sad moment also to share with you. One of our uh, speakers, Mark Fischer, um, has uh, left us this weekend, last weekend, he died, and uh, can therefore not be with us. This is very, very sad. Uh, he has himself written a lot about the course he has left us for, uh, about depression, and we will um, commemorate his... Uh, uh, his life, his incredible impact on, 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 on the intellectual world and also on thinking about art and the intellectual context and use the time it was dedicated to his talk by reading texts he has written in his life. So stay with us in memory of uh, Mark Fischer and I now give over to Marit Zradenwacker.